Hey smokers, Draga one here. Today we're going to be checking out MIDI input on Windows 3.1. Now we're going to be using the Ultimate DOS machine which has Windows 3.1 installed on it, and we're going to be using this keyboard as an input device. So to more closely examine just what we're doing, let's take a look at the ports on the back of the keyboard. Well, it's upside down, but you can see there's a MIDI in, a MIDI out, and the sustain pedal but we don't really need the sustain pedal for this. We also have matching MIDI cables that we'll plug in. But the mystery has escaped me. How the hell do you plug in MIDI cables directly into the back of your DOS machine? Is it just a ISA card or a PCI card that just has MIDI ports on the back? What do you do? It's so strange. Ever since I was a kid, I want to know how to do it. And I never, ever figured it out. But today, I have the MIDI cable we're looking for. As you can see, our Ultimate DOS machine hasn't had much love lately. It's really just being lazy on its beanbag chair. So we're going to get it up and moving again. So these are all our ports, or at least these are all our expansion ports. The rest of them are stuff that's on the motherboard. As you can see, it has even USB and some other stupid stuff, so it's not truly a DOS machine. I suck at making DOS machines. So we have our capture card at the bottom. doesn't do anything with that. Obviously not the video card up there. So where does that leave? Well, this is the sound card, and there's your game port and some audio outs. So what do you do with that? Well, actually, for those of you who don't know, the game port is a MIDI interface, or it can be used as a MIDI interface, and it makes sense considering it's a sound card. So, actually, and there's a daisy chaining as well, so you can still plug in your sound card. So that's one end of that cable, and the other end is <gasps> MIDI! So where do we plug these in? Well, here's the back. We match the in to MIDI in, we match the out to MIDI out. And those are some solid connections. You don't get the connections that solid anymore. And it works as a normal piano thingy. But apparently this can send MIDI messages. So let's go ahead and fire up the Ultimate Dosh machine to see just whether or not this does anything. Okay. I got a fan on in the background. Don't kill me. Uh, <coughs> uh, let to load this in. And pray. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> there was a straight, slight audio issue. Ah! 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 It was maxed out. That's why. Oh, my God. My ears. Okay. Well, let's... Let's play something, um, uh, sh shit. Oh, thank God it's working. Okay. At least we, we can hear that. It's good. We can hear that. Fine. Okay. So now that's the most important thing is that we can hear the MIDI. And so let's jump right into pro, pro sound. Actually, we probably need to configure the MIDI first, and I don't know how to do that. So, uh, I think it's in here. Uh, MIDI mapper. Here we go. I do have the keyboard turned on. Uh, this is probably just for playback. So, let's open Pro Sound. Let's pick a patch for track one. Okay, where where in the hell was it? I did this in another video, I just don't remember what it was that I did. MIDI config. Okay, so AW64 MIDI in and out. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that, that's me pressing all the keys. And if I turn up the volume on the keyboard itself, you can hear it. So, uh, 
How do I know whether it's getting note data in or out? I don't. I'm gonna open sequence. Now. I'm gonna open the mini file. Let's open this. Play it. Let's get some help. Getting a oh, shit. Let's get some help. Getting started. Oh no. This can't be. Oh no. That's it. That's all the sound there is. Ah, God. Good at contents. Uh. Recording and playing song. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Select, set up a MIDI channel on the selected track which will receive information from your keyboard. Refer to your keyboard manual for details on how to set up a MIDI channel. Ah, uh, shit. This is something I've never done before. Maybe I have the cables in backwards. Maybe the out needs to go to the in and the in needs to go to the out. I don't know if you're supposed to hot swap these. It works! It fucking works! I swapped them, they were backwards! Oh my god! Shut up, Clutch Bro! Dude, fucking life achievement unlocked! There's almost no latency. Oh, there's some latency. Now, I don't have pitch bend wheels uh, at all, so. Now, can we do this with the MIDI orchestrator and not this? Um, whoa, what is going on here? So, there's something from Voitra called the MIDI orchestrator, which is probably the, the most bare bones MIDI shit I've ever seen. Uh, that would be under this MIDI orchestrator. Like, it doesn't even have any tracks or anything. Well, it has tracks, but it doesn't have any, like, sequencer, I guess, where you can arrange everything. Well, that's cool. I've stopped playing already. So it appears we're on channel one. Okay, honky tonk. Oh, this is awesome. I can't play piano at all. And uh, somehow I managed to write music and it happened. Now, now let's do some content ID shit. So there's some MIDI data. I don't know if I can play it back. Uh, oh, I didn't arm it for record. Oh, fuck. So let's try recording some uh, MIDI data. So let's see if that'll actually play back. It just says stopped. It won't play anything back. Fuck. So I armed it for record. I set the patch. What more do you want? Ah, see, it's on standby. Okay. 
So I have to, it's on standby and it's ready to record. But I have to click play, I'm guessing, to start it. There we go. Okay, let's see how terrible that was. Let's play it back. Okay, so I get it. So, uh, I played back my own song terribly. I did several other takes, some of which were better. You'll get the idea. Um, so, uh, now what can I do with this? Um, well, I could change the MIDI channel, but the problem is, is that if I don't change the MIDI channel on the device, I'm sort of fucked. So, I think I can change the MIDI channel somehow. Well, maybe if I just click on it. That'll change it? No, it's still locked to that channel. So, what is this? This is the patch number. This is patch one. Uh, so it's possible to record. I just don't have a way of changing the MIDI channel on this. Um, I guess maybe right now it's zero, so maybe I put 02. Is that MIDI channel two? I don't know. 002? Hey, it worked. I can't believe that worked. Holy shit. I just I just put, punched in the numbers on the display, and it just worked. Okay, well, then we can keep going. Zero, zero, one. I think I fucked it up now. Zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, zero. I can't tell which channel it's playing on. Oh, no. This is a pain in the ass. Well, let's train. Let's change all of these to something different. So. I must have set it to some sort of unknown. Because I can't play on channel one ever again. I don't know what I did. Ooh. Electric piano four. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think it's actually matching what is actually on the display on my keyboard. And this is not very visual for you guys. It matches exactly what's on the display. This is freaking me out. Okay, well that was... This is not folk guitar. And that's not electric guitar. Yeah, I don't know how to make MIDI channels work. It already... Now I've got two going at once. No, I'm not... I don't even have to change it. I could just change it from the keyboard itself. This is awesome, but like... Okay, well, I, as you can see, it works. Um, I'll just save this MIDI file, I guess. Uh, um, just call it S. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Just open it in audio station. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we? Can I open this? Well, I think the other thing is, um, I can reopen it in ProSound. 
right here, because it can open MIDI files. File, open MIDI file, and there should be a file called ass in here. There it is. It looks like it has a bunch of pre-made tracks. Uh, here it is. It, I called the track name new, apparently. Let's see if I can look at it in piano roll. There it is. Let's set the playback position. Play. That sounds way cooler. So what I can do is I can click here, delete, and I think if it's going to let me, oh shit, well that sucks, I fucked it up, oh god, why does it do that, well now I made it worse. This is the, probably the worst piano roll I've ever done. Well, that's better. Let's get rid of that. I'm essentially fixing my mistakes. Um, as much as I can, anyway. I don't know if I can insert a new note. All the way back to the beginning. Right here. Or not. What the balls? There we go. That sounded really cool. Um, control. Alt. How do I insert a note? too much fun. Uh, piss. I don't know how to make a note. So thanks everybody for watching. I have made my very own dream come true. I've always wanted to um, be able to input MIDI um, directly over MIDI cables. Um, and it not only works instantly with no configuration, I was able to actually get it happening with Windows 3.1. My kid self is just screaming up and down right now. He is super happy. Um, and if I were to go back in time and show this to myself, I would just be blown away i wouldn't even know where to begin or how i figured it all out but i mean give it a good 20 or so years and you figure it out i guess so um yeah and i'm just barely stumbling into it at this point taking from a very technical perspective but i mean damn this is it i i did it this was i was dreaming of doing this for the longest time and actually going straight in with midi and it would be even more blow. I'd be even more blown away if I was doing it with like my old original Packard Bell, which is not what I'm really doing, but I very well could have. So again, thanks everybody for watching. It's been a really fun video to make. Um, so I will see you guys next time.